Mahatma Gandhi, the legend of Indian history, the pioneer of non-violence and the father of our nation. He was a man of sound and strong conviction. He had a noble soul. He was a God-fearing person. His approach to various problems was non-violence. He spent his life to fight discrimination and poverty against Indians both in India and South Africa for 20 years. He chose non-violence as a method of resistance because he never believed in violence Gandhi Jayanti is annually celebrated on 2nd October to commemorate the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. We fondly remember him as the father of our nation, also known as Bapuji. He taught the world how to win the war in peace. This day is observed as the International Day of Nonviolence. Gandhiji's principles have taught us to change the world by changing ourselves. Mahatma Gandhi was the youngest of the six children of Karamchand Gandhi. He was called Monia by his parents and their friends. As a child, if one of his brothers teased him or playfully pulled his ears, he would run home to complain his mother Putli Bai. She would ask, why didn't you hit him? For that, Monia would say, how can you teach me to hit people, mother? Why should I hit my brother? Why should I hit anyone? He used to go to school on time and ran back to home as soon as school was over. His books were his sole companions and he spent all his free time in reading. At the age of 19, Gandhiji left his home to study law in London. Thereafter, in 1891, he started his law practice in Bombay court. As he found success, he was approached to represent an Indian firm in South Africa. That was the time when with his wife, Kastor Bai and his children. He lived in South Africa for almost 20 years. Once, Gandhiji was on a train journey where he was beaten and thrown out of the first class compartment by a white driver as he refused to give up his seat to an European passenger. That day, he realized a lot other brown people like him also go through the same harassment. So he decided to fight against racial discrimination, untouchability and caste system instead of ignoring the situation. Gandhiji once said, My religion is based on truth and non-violence. Truth is my God. Non-violence is the means of releasing him. He said, truth has to be observed not only in one's speech but also in thought and action. You know, since his childhood, Gandhiji loved the stories of two people who followed the value of truth. They are King Pralat and Harish Chandra. Gandhiji said that, blessed is the man who can perceive the law of Ahimsa in the midst of raging fire of Himsa all around him. For him, Ahimsa means love. He said, if you have love towards somebody and you respect that person, then you are not going to do any harm to that person. Nonviolence is mightier than any weapon of mass destruction. 2nd October is also declared by United Nations as the International Day of Nonviolence. The three monkeys represent the principles of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. 
Gandhi ji opted for three monkeys as a model because he knew man would learn from that easier as they are lower animals in evolution. Initially, Gandhi ji led three satyagraha movements that is at Champaran, Kheda and Ahmedabad. Later, the Khilafat movement, non-cooperation movement, civil disobedience movement and Dandi march. He led all these movements in India against British rule using the path of non-violence. Gandhi ji was killed by Nathuram Godse on 30th January 1948. But Gandhi ji left behind his footprints for us to follow. Therefore, I urge each one of you to be simple like Gandhi ji. He never led a luxurious life but was happy with whatever he had. His motto was simple living, high thinking. His most important message to us was to follow the path of non-violence. According to him, non-violence, kindness and empathy can be used to win battles and even war. He always believed in the power of truth. Gandhi ji never used to lie under any circumstances. His vision of cleanliness is having a clean mind, a clean body and clean surroundings. Whenever Gandhi ji got an opportunity to do a little bit of cleaning work, he would do it happily. That is the reason our Prime Minister Narendra Modi introduced the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan on 2nd October 2014 to fulfill Mahatma Gandhi's vision of clean India. Hope you like the video friends. Please give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Bye.